Hi, Dr. Hummer and the rest of the nursing faculty. This is my reflection video on my service learning project. My service learning project was on how to wear a mask properly. In my video, I focused on five main objectives. That was, what really is a mask? Two, what are the different types of masks there are? Three, why we should really wear a mask? Four, how to properly wear a mask? And five, how never to wear a mask. I enjoyed doing that video. Not only was it fun for me to do, but it also gave me a taste for what I'll do in the future. As a nurse or a future nurse, we're taught that one of our duties is to educate the general public. So this was one of the many opportunities that I would get to educate the community. Now, while I was doing that mask, I was thinking about Robeson County in particular. The cases were just rising, rising. And to my surprise, when I'd go out in public, I'd see people not wearing a mask or just completely wearing it wrong. Hence, getting this opportunity to make this video for the public was so dear to me because not only am I protecting them, but I'm protecting myself because as a nursing student, I want to make sure that I am safe so those who I'm serving will also be safe as well. Most fun part of this video for me was demonstrating how to never wear a mask. It may seem funny, but it really isn't because whether we like it or not, when we go out into the public, you see people who are doing these things, whether it be not wearing a mask at all, wearing the mask underneath their chin, wearing the mask below their nose. I took this as an opportunity to educate them. They may not know why they even should wear a mask. Yes, they hear COVID-19 and yes, they hear to protect themselves, but they don't really know how it's protected them. Most of the times they don't even realize that it's not even themselves that they're protecting, but it's their loved ones, their young children, their young siblings, their parents with underlying diseases or illnesses, or their frail grandparents. I felt really accomplished doing this video, as I felt like I served my community well, like they would take something away from this video. I took it that those who don't understand how to wear a mask will now know how to do so, providing this resource to many people who really and truly lack resources. They don't know where to go to look for these kind of videos. Some don't even know that there are videos like this that exist. So I want to thank the nursing department for putting this service learning project together so that we could ensure that our community is safe and hence protecting ourselves. Thank you.